Hello everyone, Christina Werner here. Welcome to another live stream here at my YouTube channel. Before we get into today's envelope, card and envelope, I wanted to let you guys know in case you missed the video on Friday that I now have memberships here on my YouTube channel. So if you are interested in helping support my channel and everything I do here, I would love to have you. There are two levels, there's supporter and supporter plus and uh, it starts at five dollars a month and i've got some really fun perks for you if you uh, sign up to be a supporter so i'm really happy uh, that a few of you have already done that even though there's not much there yet i'm excited in fact one of the very first people who signed up i'm going to be using her address tonight so um, i'm excited that i can sort of give her a thank you for taking a chance i got kind of a um, unestablished uh, membership here at YouTube, but um, I've got fun plans going for the memberships. Um, just briefly, I'm going to be doing two live streams per month for the supporter and supporter plus levels. And um, basically, I'm just going to have my camera on while I'm filming a regular video. And I'll be, at, you know, saving the footage to my camera and all that. I'll be talking to you guys in the chat. And then um, in a few days after that, then it will go up like a regular video. So those of you who are signed up for a uh, membership here on my YouTube channel, you'll get a little sneak peek of some videos that are going up. And I really want to do something with those that people request to see things in real time. So I think there'll be a lot of watercoloring and Copic coloring, things like that um, within my membership. So if you have ever wanted to see like more in depth of that type of thing, like something that would take a little bit too long in a regular live stream, because like I might be on here for like two hours or three hours. Um, joining the membership for my channel might be for you um, because that's where I'm gonna be putting those type of things. Things that are a little bit more time intensive, basically. So anyway, this is my first live since the new year. So happy new year, happy 2024. Um, let's get going here. Today's card and envelope are going to be using these cute, super cute stamps, like stinking cute, from Sunny Studio. Uh, Men Mendy, I think that's her name. Uh, I always want to call her Mindy, but it's not. It's Mendy. Mendy over at Sunny Studio, she sent these to me before Christmas, and I was like, oh, they're so cute. I can't wait to use them. So um, I'm going to be using Big Hearted Bears and also My Heart. And I've got these linked down below. Unfortunately, they're sold out at Simus's stamp right now, but they are still available at the Sunny Studio shop. So make sure you click through and get those. So I sketched out my card idea, and because I'm doing a card and envelope, I'm gonna keep the card fairly simple. The envelope spiraled with ideas. I'm hoping I have time for all of it tonight. We're gonna jump right in, and we're gonna start with um, little bears. They're so cute. So I'm gonna be using the bear with the envelope on the envelope, and I'm gonna be using the bear holding the heart on the card. Okay, so I'm gonna do a shadow study on uh, one of these first, just kinda of get an idea of where I wanna have my shadows. And I'm actually going to base it off of the product image on the Sunny Studio website. They have a colored image, you know, all the stamps colored in. And I thought, you know, they figured out the shading, so I'm just gonna let that go. Let, you know, they've figured out all the shading, so I'm going to use that. Full stop. Can't believe I live in your thoughts. I think about you all the time, morning, evening, and midnight. Such a wonderful delight. I'm not being too precise, but I am going to have it be really, really simple Copic coloring, too. So I'm using my Olo markers today. And um, let's just go ahead and get this red heart out of the way. I have my little color chart from Olo to help me pick out my colors. So Forgo, give up everything that I
lightning strike as we hold each other tight. You're the rose in a garden, and it shows if I'm honest. I was just looking for a brush tip marker. This is one from Marvy, and I'm going to kind of paint the edge of my uh, image here. See how it's, there's a white edge? Do you see that? There's a white edge. I'm gonna go through and just paint the edge black and not really paint, but just you know, marker it black. And that's going to help it look completely finished and like it's cut out perfectly. So I blackened up those edges and you can see it just looks a little bit more finished. So cute. So now I've got this uh, stamp set here and I was thinking I'd have the little bear kind of like standing in front of the greeting because you can still tell that it says happy Valentine's Day. Oh, it's going to be stinking cute. I'm using some Versamark ink. Get that inked up really well. Press that down, which is gilded by Brutus Monroe. I just think it's such a pretty shade. It's not too yellow and it's not too light. There we go. I'm double checking everything again now. Okay, so my little panda's gonna go there eventually. So let's figure out where we're gonna put these little hearts. I'll just do one at a time. Okay, so I'm gonna do this purple one right there. done with the card I just wanted to add a horizon line and then we'll put the bear on there and then I have the color flannel from Samus stamp I can't even tell if any ink is getting down on there this is such a light gray <laughs> I probably really need to ink up the ink pad too okay I think that will show Let's just peel this up. Oh yeah, there we go. And then I'm gonna add a shadow right underneath him too. Ink up quite a bit because I want this to be quite a bit darker than the area above it. Let's just check that. Oh, that's gonna be great, okay. Okay, so there's that. He's gonna be right there. And the light is coming from this direction. His shadow's gonna be like right there. So like maybe. And then when we bring this little guy back down, Looks like he has a shadow. Cut it to be just a little skinnier. And then I think that'll be enough to go behind him. Yeah. And then he goes right there. Oh, he's cute. Okay, stop it. For such a simple card, it turned out so cute. All right, so there's the card. Now we're gonna do the envelope. So I have already created the envelope itself, just, just the envelope, not decorated it. And um, I've also cut a piece of just scratch paper that is the exact size of the envelope. This envelope is made out of uh, Nina Classic Crest Solar White 80 pound uh, cardstock. So it's the exact same cardstock as I used for the card except a lighter weight. So the whites will match, which is great. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to color the flaps a different color. This is just a fun way to change up your envelopes. So I'm going to have this 
side flap. I'm going to mask that off. remove this oh my word how cute all right hopefully that red dries back a little bit more but even if it doesn't I think we're still gonna be really cute okay that's adorable okay stop it I wish the red was a little lighter like I said but I'm kind of hoping it might dry back like it's starting to dry a little bit up here hoping it dries back to more of that shade. All right, so now I'm going to work on the little design that I'm putting on the envelope itself. So I'm, I've got this piece of scratch paper that's cut to the exact same size as the front of my envelope. And I'm going to do kind of like a stamping map for my little scene. So I wanna have the mailbox because I think it's just so stinking cute I thought I'd have them let me grab an acrylic block here we go and I'll just use the same ink that I'm going to be using for later and it doesn't have to be a good stamping I just want to get an idea of where it's going to be and then the little bear with the envelope. And I wanted to have the bear kind of in front of the mailbox a little bit. And then like we, we need room for like stamps and the address. So I was thinking I would use the cloud lines stencil from Simon and just do some really simple clouds in the background. So I'm thinking maybe just like a cloud line. Yeah, about like that. Cause then it kind of hugs the scene and leaves it kind of open and just blend from that cloud line. And I'm glad I'm doing this now and kind of testing it out because I'm realizing that I needed either a lighter blue or I need a much lighter hand. All right, so then I'm gonna have that cute little cloud line. But I kind of also want there to be a little bit of a horizon line, so I think I'm gonna have to mask that off first. Horizon line right there. And I think I'll have it kind of blend off the edge of the card. So I'll just do that gray again, so it'll match the card a little bit. Okay, yeah, that'll be really, really cute. And then we're gonna do our masking and stamping of our images since we need both of them to be masked. And stamp them both. And I'll just do that same ink that I'm going to be using later so I don't have to clean them off too much. Okay, and then I'm going to take my envelope. I'm just going to, you know, fold it down. Put that with my magnet. 
and then put that right there. And when you're masking scenes, the first thing that you stamp is whatever's in front and the bears in front. So I'm going to stamp that first. So I'm just getting that positioned exactly where it is on my little practice run. Transfer that to the door of my Misty. And then now I can stamp my little bear. Once again, I'm doing that in my intense black ink. Oh, my envelope moved back into the corner. Really good impression, first time around. I'm going to clean off my stamp and then I'm going to cut out the mask and put that over top of the bear. I think I'll do the entire thing. Okay, so there's our cute little bear. I'm gonna peel him up and put it directly over the top of my stamped bear to protect him. And then I'm going to go back to my template, wherever it went. And I'm going to get that mailbox positioned just right. And then I'm using that intense black ink from Sinus's stamp once again. And I'm gonna actually move this down here so it holds it more flat near where I'm stamping. From it there I was like, oh no, that's overlapping the bear. And then I'm like, wait, that's why you masked it. It's okay, Christina. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm gonna leave the bear masked because um, we're adding the cloud on the horizon line. So I'm gonna leave that bear masked and I'm gonna cut out just like, here's our little template. We only need like the bottom half of the mailbox. So I'm just gonna cut that in half. Okay. All right, peeling this up. Getting that lined up just right, right on my little mailbox. All right, I'm gonna grab some post-it tape, put that right across our horizon line. Okay, because we want the, the dark edge to be coming from the post-it tape. Lovely. All right, and then here we go. I think I did the bottom. No, I didn't do the bottom. What did I do? Oh no, I did. And it was like right here. I'll grab a little bit of post-it tape to protect the rest of my scene and also kind of hold it in place. And then I'm gonna come in with Marine. In fact, since I wanted it lighter, I haven't cleaned off my brush. Let's just see what's left on it. Just let it kind of fade out. Oh yeah, that's cute. All right, and then I can peel off the post-it tape. Oh, cute. 
that was worth all the masking. Now I'm, since I did cut out that bear, I'm gonna go ahead and just put that mask on the back of the stamp set. I think what I'm gonna do is fold up a piece of scratch paper to be an A2, you know, fold it up. And I'm just gonna put that right inside. This. It's not assembled yet. I'll just slide it right inside there. Make sure it's all the way down to that corner. And then I can color right on top and any bleed's gonna go to the four layers underneath and it should catch all of it. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy But things are finally right With you and I The future is bright oh, You and I, we got it It is time for postage stamps and the address. Here is the finished card and envelope set. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the street address and then you'll see the blurred out photo here at the end of the video. But um, didn't even think to do gold, so it would match over here, but that probably would have been good. Oh well. And here's the other side of the envelope. Love how this turned out, such a cute little set. Um, and fun way to create a little scene. Love how that turned out. Thanks so much for joining me today. Um, I'll be back on Wednesday with another mail or envelope. Thanks for joining me and I'll catch you guys next time.